Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I have more than one device. Shock. Uh, I get online in a variety of ways, and sometimes I need to get to certain files from anywhere in the world. I have this desktop computer that has files on it. I have uh, another PC across uh, from, from where I am in my home office that uh, has files on it. Uh, I have a notebook computer in front of me that has files on it, and my, I may need to get to those files from any one of those computers or from a mobile device. And uh, I've talked about it before, it's been a while, Dropbox is, I would say, a pretty amazing service for what it is, for free. You can get up to 10 gigabytes if you refer enough people, and I blasted past my references, I think the first day I talked about it, a couple years ago. Uh, Go.tagjag.com slash Dropbox. We're doing a round robin with uh, other people on our team who use Dropbox to get up to 10 gigs free when you refer other people. Uh, I use Dropbox, other people use Dropbox. It works well enough. Is it perfect? No. Uh, is it? Is it good? Is it functional? Yes, because it allows you to share a certain hierarchy of folders with yourself or with other people. We use Dropbox today, every day. When I record these videos for YouTube, uh, I essentially clip them out, title them, and then drag them into Dropbox. They're synchronized or uploaded to the cloud, and then other people, no matter what operating system they're using, uh, pull, get those files, they download automatically and synchronize automatically, and then they put them on YouTube and, and Blip TV and wherever else we, we put the videos. So you can try it for two gigs if you haven't already. There are a lot of cloud-based services, but the one, I mean, they're, seriously, the one that if you ask someone if they have a file you know, sharing service, that, legitimate file sharing service, uh, I'm not talking about P2P stuff necessarily, as, at least in our traditional construct of P2P, Dropbox is it. And we have 10 ways you can optimize your Dropbox. If you haven't you know, figured out what you're gonna use it for, read this article. I would be shocked, shocked, if you lear didn't learn something new from the article that we've compiled. Matt Ryan took the lead on it. Uh, for instance, did you know, this is a, a tip that I, I shared with him, since I do a lot of the uploading, putting those videos, which are very, you know, they're big video files, uh, in terms of file size. Uh, you can cap the upload speed, but I keep my upload speed uncapped. That's a setting you can toggle. If you do more transfers from your end and you want them to be uploaded faster, remove that cap for uploading data. That sped up my uploads instantaneously because otherwise it's throttled. By default, it's throttled, wisely throttled. But you can take control of Dropbox. That's just one little tip that can help you uh, optimize Dropbox depending on how you're using it. Another thing uh, he recommends, something you may not have done, is enabling land sync. So instead of having, I've got one, two, three, four, so many computers around here that have Dropbox running, I don't have to download a, a, a particular file that's being synced across those computers. Every single time, I enable LAN sync, and it downloads it once, and then syncs the data across the LAN, which is really important if you want to save uh, on your download uh, cap, if you, ha if you have one that you have to watch out for. Comcast uh, is one of those ISPs here in America that uh, unfortunately places a, a bandwidth cap on consumer uh, internet customers, which is so stupid. Um, there's other things uh, you could possibly do, uh, like setting a single Dropbox server on your network. I don't even know if, if you guys have even tapped into the power of Dropbox beyond just like, oh yeah, it's, it's for sharing files. Really, it enables a lot more than just sharing files. This can untether you from one computer. I can access all my Dropbox, fi uh, Dro Dropbox files from here, from the app. Uh, that, that's available on iOS. Uh, you know, if I needed more than just 10 gigs, uh, I could uh, upgrade, I could pay for an upgrade. I have not yet paid for one. I, I don't pay for Dropbox, I don't. I don't. I haven't felt the need to pay for Dropbox because my use scenario doesn't need anything more uh, than uh, 10 gigabytes. Uh, Randy D, or Randy V. Demir says, you can host a website on Dropbox. I didn't know that. Uh, you can have a public directory, but you, they'll throttle how many people can download over a period of time. So I don't know if I would necessarily use that for open sharing, permanent sharing, uh, but it's certainly, it's easy or easy enough. Why use Dropbox when we have Google, says Dave Z. 
I cannot wait, and I think it's going to happen. I can't wait for Google to release a G Drive officially because we have all this, you know, I, I, pay, I pay Google for cloud storage for Google Docs and files like, you know, images uh, through Picasa and whatnot, but I can't easily synchronize those files from a local computer. And if there's an easy way for me to drag and drop and organize folders locally, uh, you know, using Windows Explorer or, you know, doing, doing so from Linux or from Mac OS X, I would be thrilled. It'd be so much easier, and that's what Dropbox does. It makes it seamless. And another reason you might want to use Dropbox, even if you don't want to, let's say for argument's sake, you don't want to share files with anybody. Maybe you don't even want to keep them for yourself. Dropbox will keep a, a version history on the web. So you can set up a folder that you, you put files into, and even after, you, let's say you accidentally delete the file, Dropbox will keep a copy of that file for you. And they, they do this basically for free. This recovery process is, is it's, it's part of the account. So if you want to have a set of directories or one directory uh, to keep you protected from accidental file deletion, uh, you know, you can keep like temporary copies there. And once you have it synced to Dropbox, it remembers that. And you can restore it up to a certain point. Uh, that, above all else, is a reason to have Dropbox. Just one little tip for it. I mean, actually, that's more than... How many tips have I shared about Dropbox in this video? We have even more Dropbox tips. 10 ways for you to optimize Dropbox in the article that's either linked here, somewhere in the video, maybe this video has been embedded. Am I embedded on someone's webpage right now about Dropbox? Hello? Is anybody here? Did I link to, to the article up there? I don't know. It's on LockerGnome.com. Check it out if you have more Dropbox tips to share. Trust me, I'm sure people are going to be very excited to hear your Dropbox tips because a lot of us use it. I, I'm not an addict exactly, but I, I use it. And I'm not afraid to admit it.